And this is Eileen, and this is a general reading today. So some of these cards may resonate with you, while others do not. If I'm doing a private reading, then I'm just focusing in on your circumstances. And I am reading the meanings of the cards, as well as tuning in on a psychic level. So let's see, to start with, you have the Ten of Cups, Four of Cups, Three of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, Three of Swords, Seven of Pentacles, the Chariot, and Ten of Pentacles. So there are some good cards here. A little bit of stressful stuff going on too, but there's some really good omens here as well. So starting out with this Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups is all about having a happy home, a lot of love in your life. So this, um, oh, hi, Chords. Great. Yeah, I'm doing fine. I hope you're doing well too. Good to see you, Chords. So, Ten of Cups, yeah, this is about a happy home life, a lot of love in your life and prosperity, abundance. And so, for some of you, this could be indicating some kind of a beautiful love relationship. For others, it might just be doing well within your life, even if you're not with another person, just having a lot of good things going on in your life, things you uh, being very grateful feeling prosperous, feeling happy and healthy, and just having um, maybe a whole renewed sense of enthusiasm about your life now. Kind of feeling some burdens have been lifted. That's what I'm feeling like. Oh, hi, Maurice. Thanks for joining us. So this is all about, and I am getting a sense with this Ten of Cups, whether you're in a relationship, not in one, or if you get in one soon or not, it doesn't matter. I'm feeling your well-being here, a sense of your own well-being, burdens being lifted from your shoulders. So I'm just feeling free and light and happy and healthy and just feeling better, like you've got a new beginning. You know, in springtime, spring's a good time for new beginnings anyway. But that's what I'm getting, a sense of renewal, of new beginnings, your energy being restored. If you haven't had a lot of energy in recent months or something else has been dragging you down or slowing you down or discouraging you, maybe getting you feeling upset or unhappy, it's like it's just a fresh new beginning. So for a lot of you, you might be finding some burdens are being lifted or have just recently been lifted or will be coming up in the near future. Let's see. And then you've got the Four of Cups here. And Four of Cups, now this is about feeling like, um, you know, you have, yeah, you have good things to be appreciative of, but you don't have enough. Like, well, you don't really have this or that or whatever it is. And the sense with the Four of Cups is that you should not be too complacent about the good that you do have. It's best to be appreciative, to stay alert, to stay open, because you could miss a great opportunity, whether in love or something in business, something in your personal life. So don't feel discouraged. If you're not in this great Ten of Cups place right now and you're feeling a lack or feeling lonely, that's what I'm getting, a sense of loneliness, kind of like, like you missed out on a lot of good things in your life. And you're feeling, um, I don't know, almost like, like just not having everything you would like to have and feeling a little disappointed. So that's the energy I'm getting from this card. And the message here is to look at all the good you do have. Be grateful for all the good you do have. Be very open and receptive because you could be having a lot more coming your way. See the, see the person's got the small... Um, cups in front of them and right in back of them, which they may not see, is a great big goblet overflowing. So there might be something really great coming your way and you could miss out on it if you're not paying attention and you're assuming there's nothing good out there. Hello, Bernadine. Thank you for joining us. And Ibrahim. Yeah, yeah, you can. Uh, I'm going to do some uh, mini readings after I go through this. Then you've got uh, Three of Pentacles, 
and three of pentacles is uh where you have a lot of irons in the fire as they say a lot going on you might have things you're actively working on right now and making more money and some of you might have two jobs maybe even three different things going on for money making and uh, i do get a lot of really good energy with this card of being productive even if you don't have everything physically actively going it's like you're making your plans. You've got it in the works. You're putting your plans together. You're putting some kind of a structure together. You know what you want to do. You're tweaking things. You know, you're getting things lined up the way you want them. You're working very smart, first in your mind to make your plans and hopefully maybe on paper or something else, you know, where you're laying things out and making everything clear for yourself. And, um, and then working on your plans little by little. And this is giving other people around you information on a need-to-know basis where you're not just telling everybody all your plans and your business and what's going on. It's on a need-to-know business, which is very smart because you're just quietly working on your goals, your projects, whatever it is. And uh, because it looks very promising, I get a lot of good energy with that card of things being very promising. You might already be seeing some good results, but there's going to be plenty more in the works as time goes by, more and more and more unfolding as time goes by. That's what I'm getting like up in months and maybe going into years, but plenty more unfolding that's going to be very rewarding and um, personally rewarding and financially rewarding also. And you've got the Ace of Wands. Great new beginning here. Let me get a drink of my uh, water. Hold on a second. Just a second. That's something I'm going to organize here too. Okay, hold on just a second here. Okay, sorry about that. There. Okay. All right, let's see, where was I? Ace of Wands. Okay, this is all about some exciting new beginnings for you in business, work, money making, and just being filled with ideas, enthusiasm, energy, and moving forward because the wands do relate to your area of business, uh, career, action, progress. And this is like being full of energy, enthusiasm, having great ideas, moving forward, whether you're looking for a new job or starting a new job or a business of some sort, some kind of creative projects, whatever it is, you've got plenty of energy, resources, inner resources of strength, endurance, uh, optimism, ambition, drive, and you're just going after what you want. And you're going to accomplish a lot. That's good next to the three of pentacles. And it's right above the ten of pentacles, which is all about success. And then underneath the ten of cups, you've got three of swords. For, so for a number of you, you may have been hurt really bad in relationship matters, really gotten your feelings hurt bad or your heart broken. Um, betrayed, been very betrayed by other people close to you. That's what I'm getting here with this Three of Swords, feeling very much betrayed by those who are close to you, whether it was one person or a couple of people or more. And uh, it was very hurtful and very harmful for your well inner well-being, your emotional 
well-being. But this is something, if any of you are going through this right now, this will pass, even though it's very harsh and difficult. You've got so much good energy all around you that this will be a thing of the past. So just um, it makes you wiser about certain people, about people in general when these things happen. I mean, nobody wants to go through that, but it happens to a lot of us at some point in our lives. And um, it, it's, it's traumatizing because that's what I'm getting. I'm getting strong, very upset. And I'm feeling the people who betrayed you and who were so hurtful or hateful towards you, they're really hateful, mean-spirited people angry people angry and you didn't do them anything that's what gets me you know it's almost like picking on somebody because they know they could that's what I'm getting because they felt like they can get away with it and it feels like it could have been for some of you people um more than like multiple people honing in on you wanting to make you the enemy but they're just really angry people that I got big time problems so uh you know whatever they're putting out in that anger and um, hatefulness and whatever it is that will come back at them um i'm getting threefold or tenfold or something it's going to come back at them really hard you know you know the saying live by the sword die by the sword or something i don't know whatever that is but it's like something heavy is going to come back at them they're dealing with heavy things already and somehow some of them, one of some of these people might want to blame you for whatever their problem is. That's what I'm getting. Like somehow it's your fault. But it's it's just that hateful, mean, almost like a bully spirit. So for some of these, for some of you, this might relate, and for others, maybe not, because it is a general reading. And so, um, like, let's see. And then you've got seven of pentacles, and this is you planting your seeds watching them grow to fruition and knowing uh, i feel like for a number of you you've got so many good cards here that you're planting a lot of seeds in your life that are really going to pay off big time for you you're going to be if you're not already you're going to be living very comfortably as time goes by and just knowing that you have it good and knowing that you have been developing this you've got a lot of creativity within yourself a lot of belief in yourself and the universe and the heavens above and you're being gifted by the universe you're being gifted in and um it's just having a lot of um, abundance and prosperity pouring down raining down on you that's what i'm getting but it's like you it's your own visualizations it's your work it's your belief in the universe and yourself in the heavens above and it's all coming together for you all around this time this is for a lot of you so if you're feeling discouraged or anything no 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 you've got to get on this real positive outlook path here the more you believe in yourself your goals your dreams your visions um the more you're going to bring things to fruition the more you feel it the more you just live from your heart and soul go after what makes you happy and this is going to bring about such a change for the better. That's what I'm getting. You're, you're going to feel it. You're going to know it. You're in a whole new way of life. It's like whatever tough times you had in the past, the heartache or treachery or whatever, tough times, it's all going to just fade away. It's going to fade way into the background. And you're living free and happy and well. Um, the chariot card, this is all about propelling your chariot forward thank you boom tt is that teeth boom tt thank you um the chariot card this is uh, a major arcana card and the message of this chariot is to you have to propel your chariot forward it's not just gonna go take you where you want to go unless you focus on it you have to kind of like the magician card you have to really focus on what you want where you're going how are you going to get there uh, that sort of thing and that's what this chariot is about believing in yourself believe in your dreams your goals your plans and act on them work at them even if it's just a little bit at a time because you have to take one step at a time and eventually you're going to be making progress and feeling good and then you really want to take a lot more steps as you see in progress being made 
So that's what this card, the chariot, is about. Propel your own chariot forward to get where you want to go. You've got all the tools, all the resources that you need. You're ready now. The universe wants you to know that it's time to do that now. Move forward on your goals, your dreams, whatever it is you've been thinking about, planning on, talking about, whatever. Now is the time. You're pulling everything together. So be focusing on how what you want, how you want to do it, and be pulling it together. And then intentionally move and propel your chariot forward, taking one step at a time. And look what you end on the Ten of Pentacles. Once again, lots of prosperity, happy home. Look, they got to see the key. If anybody's wanting a, a home of their own or something or a new home, uh, you got that big key right there under the figure of the people, the family, and a castle in the background. Lots of love here, but lots of coins. Ten of Pentacles. So just this is all about prosperity, happiness, having a happy home, uh, re being rewarded for your work, your dedication, your belief, your belief in your goals and your dreams, and just continuing to move forward no matter the obstacles. You just get out, you know, move away from the obstacles, get through them one way or another, and keep moving forward. And you're going to really be rewarded up ahead. Oh, hi, Dora. Okay, so then let's see. You've got some oracle cards here. Now, this is from the Angel Answers card. Within the next few months. And then you've got stay optimistic. Your dreams are coming true. Don't quit right before the miracle occurs. That's a good message. You've got the sun card, plans that work out perfectly, amazing ideas that lead to rewards and commendations, gratitude for the blessings of life. Great message in this card. I love this. This is such a beautiful card. Look how gorgeous this is. Prosperity, Archangel Ariel. Your material needs are provided as you follow your intuition and manifest your dreams into reality. That's what this is all about right here. That just, that sums it up right there. Last one. Pronghorn action. Pronghorn, that's the name of this animal. Action. Now is the time to act. Opportunities are here. Move forward with confidence. Your talents will always help you land on the pinnacle. Your quick wit and keen senses will lead you to success. Great messages. Okay. All right, um, Maurice, I'll shuffle some cards for you too. Okay. Right now, it looks like it might be boom first because um, boom made a don donation. And then I'll go according to whoever's in, in line first. Okay. Um, Ibrahim, Ibrahim, I don't know if I'm saying that right, is male. I'm looking at the messages and scrolling here. Every time I do a live stream, I have spammers who go in there and start asking people to message them for their free reading that they're getting. They're getting, I have something to tell you. I'm picking up a spiritual message. I see that every time. They, they're spammers. And so, because I see Ibrahim, you're speaking to Davidus, asking if they're going live or something like that. Um, but what they're asking you is to um, message them for who knows what. And uh, But it's very typical that every, this is coming off Facebook, as far as I know. Every time I do a live stream, usually at least a few of them pop up. I have to go block them and delete them. It's really a hassle, but they keep popping up anyway. So uh, I would be very careful dealing with anyone who is on my page 
some stranger on my page reaching out and asking you to, to send them a message. That has nothing to do with me. Those are spammers that go in and do that. Um, so I would just be cautious about dealing with them, just so you know. But I see this over and over and over again. It's like bunches and bunches of them doing this. Oh, thank you, Maurice. Okay, so let's see here. Oh, so it is first one, I think, is boom. Let me get boom TT. And then, and then I guess it'll be Maurice. Okay, any advice? And thank you, boom, for your donation. Any advice or messages feeling a bit discouraged? Okay, let me see. Let me shuffle some cards for you. Boom, you know what I'm getting. Just looking at your question here. Feeling a bit discouraged. You know what I'm really getting here for you, boom? It's kind of uh, parallel to being bored, okay? To being, um, yeah, kind of bored with your life at the moment or feeling, uh, yeah, kind of like it's there's some emptiness or you don't have enough going on that you want to be doing, that you want to be engaging in, that type of thing. And uh, almost like your world is in black and white and it's not in color right now. That kind of thing. Uh, I don't know if anybody's old enough to remember black and white TV. <laughs> well, you know, they still show the old movies and it's black and white. Um, um, or sometimes they colorize them so you don't even know it was black and white back when <laughs> because they colorize them. But it's kind of like that. It's the difference of watching black and white TV. Having a, if you had two side by side, it's like, oh, unless people just really like that old fashioned look, you know, and they prefer the black and white um, images. But um, that's what I'm getting with you, Boom, right now. Your life is in black and white and it's not in color in some ways. And that's got you discouraged. And it almost feels a little bored or dull. And uh, what, I, what I'm what i getting uh, that I would advise you, and I am shuffling some cards for you too, is that you need to find something you're passionate about. And if you already know what that is, maybe you're not spending enough time engaging in that activity or focusing on it. Find something that you love, that makes you smile, that makes you happy whether it's some kind of recreation, some kind of creative, something or other, music, something musical or in the arts area, you know, music, dance, singing, anything like that, instruments, playing some kind of instrument, um, might be painting, drawing, designing something, arts and crafts, even uh, gardening, if you like plants and gardening and things like that. I love a lot of plants and trees, so I'm happy when I'm with the plants and trees. But, um, I feel like you need to do some things like that because then you're bringing forward something from your heart and soul, boom. And that's what you need to bring forward. I feel like it's as if somebody threw a big blanket over you in that respect. And you've got to kind of get out from under the big blanket and pull something from the inside of you that's natural and happy and free. And that just makes you feel good and makes you smile. And start bringing that out. And figure out what that is. I'm sure there's something, something that would make you smile. Something, it might be something you enjoy doing when you were a little kid, you know, if you like to draw or write stories or anything like that, even when you were little, paint, dance. Remember, try to go back to when you were a little kid. Was there anything in particular that really pleased you, made you happy, that sort of thing? And um, maybe start bringing that out in one way or another. And you don't have to go spend a pile of money. You can just start small doing something that's happy for you, that's kind of pleasing, that makes you smile, that lifts your spirits, makes you feel joyfulness in your heart. Because when you're doing that, you're coming from your heart and soul. You're more on your soul's path in this life. Because you don't want to spend your life and get to the end of your life and think, oh, 
I just went through the motions my whole life and went through all this difficult times, you know, and never did really find my passion or my joy. You don't want to be at the end of your life and be thinking that. I know I'm not willing to get to the end of my life and be feeling that way. No way at all, at all. So <laughs> I'm going to have a lot that might still be in the works. I might be at the end of my life think, well, I still want to do ABC and this and that and XYZ, but at least I did accomplish this. I did do that. I did experience this. So um, I'm going to have a lot that I know I'm grateful for. And I'm sure there'll probably be a lot of things that I, I'll be thinking I, I would have liked doing also. So you've got 10 of swords here. That's kind of, yeah, feeling defeated. But that it's the end. Ten of Swords is the end of it. You see the bright light coming over the horizon. This is the end of it. Look, you've got Queen of Pentacles. Boom. This is your, there's something for you that's going to be prosperous, bring you money. If, if money has been part of your issues that's been bothering you, Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, now this could also represent someone who's in a position of authority that can help you and benefit you in your career, your business, something with money. So if there's any kind of issues where you're trying to elevate yourself in the business area, in your work, you've got nine. Look at this. You've got nine of swords. Have you been leave, losing sleep, boom, and being upset or worrying about something? Nine of swords. And then ten of swords says you're at the end of it now. So if that's you, that you've been tossing and turning and worrying about things, the swords are not touching the person there. But it's like it's, it's, it's coming to the end of that now. And there's something very prosperous coming ahead for you. Look at this. Three of Pentacles. If money has been part of the issue for you, boom, that's been discouraging you and making you feel down or feel empty or whatever, it looks like money is going to be doing better. Like you'll be working at something you enjoy, that you're good at. That's another thing to have some kind of work that you can enjoy also and feel good about it. Maybe there's a little business you want to start on the side or something. Um, or working at a company where you're doing work that's meaningful for you, that you enjoy doing, and the money's uh, good for you and getting better. Yeah, so uh, boom, you've got the Hermit card. This is going following your inner guidance. You've met, lived many lifetimes and you've gained a lot of wisdom. And uh, you need to turn to your inner wisdom, your inner guidance, and just follow your inner guidance. And uh, I'm a big believer in God and my guardian angels. If I'm feeling really down or discouraged, I always ask God and my guardian angels to help me to make good decisions, help me to follow their guidance, help me to listen, hear their guidance, to um interpret it and follow their guidance every day and um, I mean I do that whether I'm feeling down or not <laughs> because I want to be on the right path I want to be on my soul's journey that's the correct one for me and to be making the right choices and avoid the wrong choices so um, yeah so it looks like you've got and look you got six of wands yeah, everything seems to be business oriented a lot of things anyway so I don't know if it's been work or money that's been kind of bothering you oh my god there's another one um if it's been work or money that's been bothering you so um it looks boom like there's a lot of potential for you here and um there's a lot of good waiting for you that you just need to put your attention on so um instead of like focusing maybe on things that are discouraging for you right now. Try to, try to focus on the things that make you feel better, that lift your spirits, and um, just give you an overall, you know, like make you feel happier. Let's see. Just organizing something here. So I hope that's helping. Boom. I'll pick, I'll pick you a couple of Oracle cards also. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, let me pick you a couple of Oracle cards. Boom. Boom. 
let's see. Um, okay, mermaids and dolphins. Let me get you one of those. Ah, this is a good one for you, Boom. Watch your thoughts. It's important to only think about what you desire, not what you fear. That's what it is here. You've got to really be focusing every day. And it's so easy to get off track. It's just natural because we go through, we have so many things we've got to deal with all the time. So it's natural to kind of go in your mind, go in different directions. You have to consciously get yourself back on track, imagining you're living your best life. Or at least you're in the process of it. You got one foot maybe in your old life and one foot in your new life that's much happier, more prosperous, more successful, healthier, everything bright and shiny. Look, you got the yes card here. See, yes, that's confirmation. That's what you need to do. That's my confirmation. I gave you the right message. Okay, you got patience, Archangel Jophiel. Your dreams are blooming more rapidly than you realize. Still, they need nurturing and patience. Yeah, so I hope that helps, Boom. And thank you for your donation. Okay, so next is going to be Maurice. Okay, let's see. And Maurice, thanks again for using PayPal. I really appreciate it. And thank you again, Boom, for your donation. Okay, let's see here. Let me get back where I need to go. Got different screens opened up at one time here. No, let's see. Here we are. Okay. Oh, you're welcome, Boom. Okay. Let's see. Oh, let me thank Maurice. And hold on. Here's another one of these. If anybody's looking at this, if you're on Facebook, you see it because these people come off of Facebook. I've seen these exact this exact wording here of this long message. If you can see this long message where they're asking you to um, contact them. I've seen this exact wording over and over again. It's a, it's a um, what do you call that? Um, spam, spam, scam, whatever, spam. Um, be very cautious dealing with those people. Okay. I mean, really think about it. What kind of people go on someone else's page or channel and start giving, telling people stuff like this? I mean, to me, that says something about um, them that's not very good. Let's see. Good grief. Hold on just a second. Maurice, please be patient with me a minute. Hold on a second, please. Okay, I'm back, Maurice. Sorry for the interruption. Wait, let me get my screen back here. Uh, 
Okay. Yeah, I see I see the same same wording. Oh, when well, this one wants to do magic, if you're looking at this, if you saw this, I went and deleted some on Facebook, but I'm still seeing them on my uh, my um, my messages here. Um, I can tell this person wants to do all kind of magic and look out for your bank account balance to be uh, quickly go uh, be <laughs> be reduced when they start telling you they're going to do magic for you. There's another one. Good grief. I can't get over this. I'm sorry, Maurice. Hold on just a second. I mean, it's just astounding. They just, yeah. I'm guessing it's just hundreds upon hundreds on Facebook of people who do this. Apparently, they, they, they get takers that they're able to continue to get away from this get away with doing this they get takers but at the very minimal they're spamming they're spammers uh-oh wait a minute that's the one right now not that one Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm just trying to delete some of these, block and delete some of these people that are showing up in this um, message stream. I mean, they just, they really, they make the message stream so filled up with junk. It's like junk mail. You know, if, if you open your spam folder and you see all that stuff, it's kind of like that, but they're doing it on my live stream and it's just an annoyance if you're on youtube you might not see it but if you're on facebook okay thanks cords that's what i thought if you're on youtube you don't even see it so you don't know what i'm talking about when i start complaining about some of these people if you're on facebook oh thanks maurice for your patience okay elisa hold on Oh my God, there's another one just popped on. Unbelievable. Oh, you've noticed that on other channels, Maurice. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's it's such an annoyance. It really is. It's so excessive. And um, uh, I mean, it's too bad you can't, there's not more that can be done about it i think it's just because there's so many well it's kind of like your spam folder you know if you go in your spam folder in your mail um i mean sometimes when i just i look at the headlines I, I i try not to click on any of that stuff at all but um like my email spam folder especially one that's my business one the psychic eileen one um and i'll see just all that same kind of stuff um I mean, I'll just see the headline and some of these people will just be, um, um, you know, just in the headlines. Hello, dear, I'm getting a message about you or, uh, you know, that kind of nonsense. It's just ridiculous. And I mean, if I, I, one thing I feel like if... <laughs> somebody calls you dear and they don't even know you they're a complete stranger it's like that to me that's a um that is a, a red flag warning right there okay all right for right now i'm just going to leave it at that i've been going and usually after the live stream and blocking all these people it's just so excessive it's it's such a turn off. It really is. I'm glad YouTube is not loaded with them as much. Not so far anyway. It seems to all be coming off of um, Facebook so far.
Okay, let me go ahead now. I'm back to Maurice. Good, especially when they type out these really long messages. It just gets in my way because I'm scrolling up and down to see the legitimate comments from people like you, Maurice. And I have to scroll, scroll, scroll extra far just to get to the more legitimate comments from people. So, um, yeah, and as many as I block, it's like that many more keep coming. It's like there's an endless supply of spammers out there. So I guess that's what they do. They apparently get their hooks in certain people or they wouldn't be doing all that. Okay, um, just be cautious if you're ever... I would never respond to anybody like that myself because I already know what they're all about. But, uh, you know, a lot of people, they, they, they apparently do get their hooks in people or they wouldn't do that. Okay. Anyway, back to you, Maurice. Sorry about that. Ready for tomorrow's test. That's good. You mentioned too about my health. I've been a little worried about my health in general. What are the cards? Um, oh, oh, you know, the big thing I get with you, and I'm going to, um, and thank you so much for your donation, your PayPal donation, Maurice. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Um, here, let me go shuffle some cards for you, Maurice. But uh, what I keep getting for you, Maurice, about your health is in general, because you work so hard, you work so many hours, I feel like you might not always eat as healthy as you could be. And it's hard when you're working long hours to have all the healthiest meals and everything available on a regular basis. And also your lack, you know, maybe not getting enough sleep. I know before you were telling me you were having trouble sleeping because you were worrying about things. But I, that's what I keep getting, that you're kind of running yourself ragged. You know how they'll say somebody's running themselves ragged? Kind of like that. It, it, I get that kind of image or a burning candle at both ends because you have a, you work such long hours and so um that's more my overall image of you with your health and it feels like to me if you just obviously you get a lot of exercise in your work which is fantastic because that's a big element of staying healthy is exercising and staying physically active but and getting enough sleep is another huge factor um, that you must sleep. Sleep is so healing to your body. So I would say um, that sleep and adjusting, making sure you're getting plenty good, um, you know, like green, fresh greens. I was even showing that, showing that to my for myself. Somebody put that in front of me when I was asking about um, like a little leg injury I had out working out in the yard um, a few months ago. That was it's healing a lot better now, but kind of like I. I Anyway, it took a while. <laughs> it was annoying, but I was still getting around, but not as not as fast as I like to. Uh, but it's healed a lot. But what was put in front of me one day when I just asked a general question, how can I get um, this little injury in my skin to keep to heal up a lot faster? And it's like somebody put a big collard green right in front of my face. And um, coincidentally, get my water coincidentally we just had a new sprouts market open close by to where we live here and they sell um bunches of the what do you call it organic collard greens you know so i can go in there and pick those up and not worry about uh, hopefully not worry about pesticides being sprayed on them and stuff like that but i know eating a lot of greens is real healthy any other kind of greens you can get besides collard greens, but the picture I was shown looked like a big collard green. So, and it's like somebody held a big collard green in front of my face when I asked the question, um, how can I get my, my skin, my leg, and all little leg entry to really heal a lot faster? It's going so slow. And it's like, that was just put right in front of my face as soon as I asked that question. So um, I would, and, and greens, the green vegetables, and also the ones they call the cru cruciferous cruciferous, which is like cabbage and broccoli and some of those other kind of vegetables are very healthy. I think the cruciferous vegetables I was re um, seeing on like a, a doctor on YouTube talking about, and maybe it was some other, whatever YouTube channels that I watch about 
growing plants and healthy foods and stuff. And they were talking about how healthy those cruciferous vegetables are, which includes broccoli and cabbage and maybe the greens, like the collard greens. I'm not sure. You'd have to read up on that. They fight cancer and kill cancer cells, supposedly. I, I don't know. They have really good, good benefits. So you might want to read up on really healthy kind of vegetables and include try to... Um, you know, like if you don't have time on a day-to-day -day basis because you're working long hours, what you might try to do, and I try to do some of this stuff for myself, is maybe one day a week, maybe on the weekend or something. Um, you know, when you got a day off, gather some of those fresh vegetables, wash them and cut them up and maybe put them in a container or in a big um, Ziploc bag and put them in the refrigerator so you can just take them out at night when you get home and maybe put something together where you're using those fresh vegetables. I even eat a lot of fresh vegetables and a little dip I make up for myself, just little pieces of vegetables, which includes cabbage and tomatoes and red onion and just all kinds of stuff like that because the fresh vegetables are really healthy to eat for your body because what I see with you when I look at you Maurice is it's more like a lot of little things you could do for yourself that will improve your health overall well-being and your health that's what I see when I look at you um and also rest because you have been deprived of sleep make sure you somehow find a way to get if you can't in any way get eight hours sleep, if it's at all possible, and um, get a good night's sleep as many nights as you possibly can. Because I feel like with you, it is more that type of thing. And I'm not a doctor. I'm not a medical intuitive. So if you are having any kind of health issues, of course, go see a doctor and get their feedback. Let them do tests or whatever they got to do um, to find out if there's anything specific. But in general, just having really healthy foods, vegetables, getting enough sleep, and you already get your exercise as far as it looks like anyway, unless you wanted to on the weekend, uh, on some other days, what well, you're kind of lifting weights, lifting all the things you got to lift too. You're, you're getting pretty good workout, it sounds like, in your job. So I don't know if you need extra exercise, but I would say focus on the things, the other areas a lot more for yourself and also keeping a positive frame of mind. And now you have a lot more reason to keep a positive frame of mind you have a lot of good things going on for yourself now but that's more what I get more so than um than anything that's um scary or concerning but like I said I'm not a medical intuitive anyway so if you do ever have um any kind of issues you're concerned about definitely go see a doctor and get their feedback go get a low checkup and all that kind of stuff and um, get their feedback, that type of thing, and find out specifically if there's anything. They might have some specific recommendations. Oh, here you go. Um, kale is great. Yeah, there you go. Kale, that's right. Oh, Dora says vitamin C, definitely. <gasps> okay, A-K-I, oh, dark chocolate. Oh, uh, those are all things. Yeah, I take a vitamin C supplement. Well, I get, um, I have a multivitamin. I'm buying mostly Solgar vitamins. I got the multi. I've got, hi, you Smitty. I've got, oh, I've got a vitamin C tablet I take. You know, I've got those kind of things. Kale, yeah, kale. That's the other one they're selling at, at our neighborhood Sprouts now, a bunch of organic kale or a bunch of organic um collard greens i've gotten both but i prefer the collard greens over the taste of kale dark chocolate i agree dark chocolate is supposed to be real healthy i, I have um, a little bit of dark chocolate with my coffee in the morning so yeah maurice uh, i would focus on that just focusing on healthy um fresh vegetables and don't always feel you got to cook them that's why i'm saying almost every day i eat a little plate of fresh cut up vegetables a variety of vegetables and i just make my own little homemade dip for them um with some seasonings and spices and stuff that i dip them in and that's part of my dinner so um that's just you know it's just good to start incorporating things but you might need to just get your vegetables prepared on one day on your day off because you're probably exhausted when you come in from work so you know that's more what i feel for you and here i've been shuffling cards while i'm talking so much let me go ahead and lay some cards out for you too, Maurice. Oh, look at that. You got judgment rising from the ashes. Renewal for you. 
brand. This is, these are great times coming up for you. You've got a renewal going on. Yeah, you've been working really hard. You work long hours. So that right there ties in. You got three of cups celebrations. That's good. Celebrating some, some good news coming up. You've got strength. So you've got a lot of inner strength. So you've been able to work really hard, put in the long hours, be determined. And uh, you've got strength on your side. You've got a lot of inner strength. You have a lot of heavenly protection around you. I always get this with you, Maurice. You've got loved ones in the spirit world who are so close to you, like family members that have passed on. I just feel like they're right around you. If you're standing in your kitchen, there's some of them are standing right around the, in the kitchen with you. <laughs> they're right there with you. And so I get some female energies too. So I don't know um, if you're... <laughs> You've got like a grandmother, aunt, somebody like that. Uh, I'm not sure. I get some female energies as male too, but I get female energies, especially watching over you real close to you, especially around your kitchen, Maurice. So, uh, um, but you have a lot of heavenly energy, your guardian angels and God watching over you and helping to keep you afloat and keep you moving along through life because you're not supposed to sink. You know, you're supposed to just keep moving along and your path being cleared for you at this time and so uh, but you have a lot of love on both sides also in the spirit world from your um deceased relatives who they stay close they stay close by you they're very proud of you they adore you maurice they love you so much i'm really getting that really nice clear and nice and bright i'm getting from uh relatives that you have that are in the spirit world they just love you so they're around you quite a bit and uh, you're just moving forward, though. you got a lot of strength on your side, both from your own inner strength, your determination, um, but also just you were, you were just given a lot when you came into this world. You were blessed. You were blessed with a lot of strength and a lot of inner confidence, even though if you don't even always feel it, it's there. You have it. It's, that's who you are. And that's coming out more and more as time goes by here now. So... It's like you're just rising to the occasion and being who you are that you've always been, that you came into this world as. So, um, yeah, I'm getting a really good, good energy here with this card for you, Maurice. Yeah, temperance, balance, balancing, keeping a good balance in your life. That's what I've been talking about, you know, just between your work, sleep. Um, eating well, keeping a good positive mental outlook. That's so important to good health and happiness because everybody knows that um, stress can make people sick. And uh, so the opposite of stress can help you to, to heal. You've got Queen of Wands on your side here. Um, this is a female figure that... Um, this could be somebody having to do with you getting one of those positions. This could be someone in a position of authority there at your workplace that has to do with one of those positions or a different one that comes up or whatever. No, one of those, I think, that's um, going to be favoring you, okay? She'll be favoring you. Well, I've been getting for a, while, a little while since you were talking about those positions. There's a female who wants you to have one of those jobs. Okay. Let's see what else. You see that? You got four of swords. You need rest. You need rest. That's what I, I feel like your body really, I don't know if you're sleeping much better nowadays. Oh, thanks, Ursula. I do appreciate it. Um, you you really need your rest. I think that would be very healing for you. So uh, that would be really healing for you, Maurice. Um, as much as the healthy foods, the solid good night's sleep, as many nights a week as you can. Like if you can get six good nights, even five good nights of sleep, you know. I mean, it's ideal to get seven good nights of sleep, but I mean, if that's not possible, I think you should make sleep, going to bed at a decent hour, your big priority, and then those healthy vegetables and other things, fruits, fresh fruits, vegetables, you have the vitamin C. If you eat a lot of fresh fruits 
and stuff too or juices just having a lot of good juices and all that available with vitamin c orange juice whatever you like um and it, you could take supplements also i don't know if you take vitamin supplements you might want to look into that just some good general vitamin supplements so um to help build your immune system help you to be the healthiest so you're not deficient in particular vitamins and that kind of thing and let me grab you a couple of oracle cards let's see you've got maurice positive energy surround yourself with positive people and situations and avoid negativity yeah that's very important that's that positive frame of mind. Look at that. You got courage. This is similar to that strength card. Courage. Archangel Ariel. Be courageous and stand up for your beliefs. I love that card. Let's see. Let's get you an Angel Answers card. Hmm. Look. Angel Answers card. No need to worry. See that? You're being blessed. It's your time, Maurice. You've been very dedicated and really working hard and just applying yourself and um and then you've got angel chantal new romance is imminent either with newcomer or through reignited passion in your existing relationship be open to giving and receiving love that's what i've been telling you that's up that's coming up for you <laughs> probably when you least expect it okay so um let's see how much time i have it looks like ursula you smitty sent me a donation let me see so i hope that helps a lot um maurice let's see and thanks again for your donation okay so next is going to be you smitty All right, let's see. Let me get back to my screen because I'm switching back and forth here. Okay, let me thank you, Smitty, here, Ursula. okay oh you're welcome maurice i'm glad it helps thank you um annie i'm not sure let me see how much time i have okay because i'm not gonna i don't think i'll be able to answer everybody today because i need to close this out in just a little while um let's see Hmm. you smitty let me see i'm going up here i do plan to be back again tomorrow um sometime in the afternoon possibly late morning uh, i'm on eastern time i'm on new york time i know everybody's got their own time zone they're on but i do plan to be back um tomorrow probably in the afternoon uh let's see i'm going back to the beginning for you smitty And yeah, I'm seeing so many of those people on Facebook. Annie, be very careful. I see anybody else that they're trying to mess get you to message them. They're spammers. <clears throat> it's unbelievable, the spammers. They just bombard my page when I come on. Well, sometimes it's not as bad as other times. Today it's extra bad. So, um, be very cautious. I would never deal with anyone who's 
reaching out like that, some stranger reaching out to you, saying message you, message them. They've got a spiritual message. It's it's um, spam. They're spammers. Uh, Annie Roy. Yeah, exactly, Annie. Annie says, who are all these people trying to get message from us when we're already in here? Exactly. And think about it. What kind of person is going to do that? What kind of person is going to go on somebody else's page or channel and be trying to get them to message them for some spiritual mumbo jumbo? Um, they're spammers. I, would, I wouldn't touch that with a 10-foot pole, believe me, because... Um, I just shows you that, that just get, that's a red flag right there that they would go on somebody else's page or channel and do that. There's no way I would ever, ever, ever do. I would never even go and post a negative comment. Like if I'm on somebody's page or channel, I just move on if I don't like theirs. But um, it, it's it's an issue. And there's so many. I've blocked so many already and more and more just keep showing up. It's like there's an unlimited supply of those people. But they're total spammers. Like if you got a spam mail folder, email folder, just think of them as the equivalent as your spam email where you got people. You know what I, I even see in my spam email? I don't know if anybody else gets this, these kind. We have deposited, I can't, I don't even know it's so many zeros, $5 million into your account. It's like, oh yeah, right. <laughs> Click on the link here to get, to complete the transaction. I mean, apparently some people fall for that nonsense, but it's the same thing. Just think of these people trying to get you to message them with some spirit that they've got a spiritual message. They're spammers. So, um, okay, you. You, Smitty, Ursula, and thanks again for your donation. I hope the hearing does not subside. Had doctor's appointment. Oh, you're hearing today. Had past ear infections. Hearing loss. Don't want hearing aids. Have had ear surgery in past. Don't want ears to get worse. Any cards tonight? Have been super stressed. Oh, had car accident. Unrelated to the health, to the hear, health situation. Trying to slow down and rest. Yes. Yes, please. And thank you so much for your PayPal donation. Let's see. Good grief. And, and these spammers, some of them send such long, long, they type such long, long, long messages. Some of them, some of them they don't. They just say DM me, message me from your private um, reading or spiritual messages. It's all spam, spam, spam. Okay. Just so you all know, please. Yeah. Annie Roy says very dis disrespectful scammers. Totally. They totally are. And that tells you what kind of people they are to begin with. I mean, really, what does that tell you about their character from the very beginning that they do this? Yeah, good point, Annie. I see they have nothing to do but bug people. <laughs> okay, let me get back up. Oh, my God, it's just ridiculous. The long, long, long things they'll say. And I've seen some of these identical things that they just, um, they just, it's like they copy and paste it or something, you know, a lot of them. Okay, let me get back to you, Ursula. Sorry about that. Let me get, let me get, let me get here. And I'll be back tomorrow. i got to close this one out pretty soon. So I don't know if I have much time, but I'll see if I can get a couple of real quick ones after Ursula. Okay. But Ursula, I feel bad for you with your hearing. And I mean, any kind of health issues are so frustrating because, it, you know, your health is your wealth. And when you're healthy and you've got your energy, you can go and work, you can accomplish things, you can do things, you feel better, you feel happier, you know, you got everything going. Uh, when you got some kind of health issues, it does slow you down. But Ursula, I do recommend you do definitely get your sleep, get your rest, relax as much as you can. Um, even, you know, don't even focus on upsetting things. You're hearing, hearing, hearing. I feel like it, you should have some healing. That's my feeling. Now, I'm not a medical intuitive. And, of course, you need to follow your doctor's and, uh, advice and information you're getting from the doctors. They're 
supposed to be the expert, you know, with all that. I always read up on any kind of health little issues I get. I go Google them and I try to look up. I, I, I'll look and see if anybody on YouTube, doctors on YouTube, not just anybody, you know, has information about that. But I'll always do things. Um, and Ursula, one thing you might want to do that I myself do a lot too, I'll, I'll look up any kind of vitamin supplements that might help any kind of issues I'm having. Like my skin was taking a long time to heal from where I injured my leg a few months back when I was out in the yard doing work and it was taking too long. And so I was looking up um, and I ended up ordering some biotin, which is great for hair, skin, and nails. And within about a week, I ordered, was it Solgar? Yeah, Solgar. I usually get a lot of Solgar vitamins. Within about a week of taking the biotin tablet, my skin started healing faster. So look up any kind of vitamin supplements that might pertain to any whether it's your ear infections, your ears, ear health, I would look that up. Look up vitamin supplements and check, you know, you might want to now check with your doctor if they have you taking any prescriptions. I know the doctors, you know, they always want to know even your vitamin supplements. Make sure it's not going to clash with a prescription because some supplements can clash with a prescription they're giving you and you don't want that. So, if you find some particular prescriptions, um, Ursula, that might aid in helping your ears to heal quicker or any other issues you're having now from that car accident, before you order them, check with your doctor, run it by the doctors that you're going to, make sure, you know, they might need to look it up and give you all clear. And then if they say it's okay, it shouldn't conflict with anything, order some uh, vitamin supplements that are good and even really just a general multivitamin is good too. Vitamin C, like we were saying earlier, is real good for healing of your skin and everything um, and healing of your cells. I think vitamin C helps your cells to repair themselves. Sleep helps your cells to repair themselves. Sleep as much as you can. Get as good a night's sleep as you can. Sleep is very healing, um, Ursula. And I'm going to um, shuffle cards for you, but I'm just kind of ad-libbing a little bit first on this. Um, um, and also the other thing, be visual. I feel like your, your ears can be okay. That's my feeling. Okay. May not, maybe not completely a hundred percent, but they can be okay. All right. Or maybe one ear better than the other. I'm getting one ear stronger than the other. That's what I'm getting. I don't know if that makes sense to you, but, um, yeah, yeah, that's what I'm getting. So, um, I feel like you need to focus on your healing, like picture it, visualize your, your ears being healed and your hearing being better and improving and that if you're deficient, that it's only a little bit, you know, maybe in one ear or something like that, that it's not anything that bad. Be picturing that for yourself and uh, imagine it and feel it and feel happy about it. You know, you got to put out that kind of in, in energy. Let me see. And I'm shuffling some cards for you, too. Yeah, you're right, Annie. She says, I'm not a reader, but I feel something fishy about them. That is the truth. That is the truth. Mm-hmm. Definitely something, yeah, definitely something fishy about people that would go on there and do all that kind of stuff. So, but they, they, they do this every time, but today they got, there's a lot more of them than usual spamming the, the messages here. But if you're on Facebook, you see it. If you're not, you're lucky if you're on YouTube, you're not seeing all that stuff. It's just a lot of clutter they add. Let's see. Okay, so Ursula, I'm shuffling cards. I'm going to lay them out. And I will have to close it out before long. And then uh, I'll be back tomorrow. So I might not. I'll see if I can pull a few cards real quick at the end. And then i got to close it out. you got High Priestess. Follow your intuition and your inner guidance. 
Ursula, look, you got the magician. This is saying you've got all the tools and resources within yourself to create the life the way you want it, your life the way you want it. You got three of wands moving forward, looking out over the horizon, making progress. Justice. You'll have fairness. The universe wants to give you fairness. Ten of swords. It's the end of a difficult situation for you. The Ten of Swords means it's, it's at the end. It, you've suffered. You've had some setbacks. You're at the end of it now. And then look, you got the Six of Pentacles bringing in more money than going out. So you're going to be doing better. Things could start moving ahead more quickly for you, Ursula. Yeah, Death Card. That's the ending of one phase of your life for some new beginnings. And you got the Wheel of Fortune here. Yeah, and then to top it off, you got the Ten of Cups, Ursula. Happy home life, having a happy life, feeling prosperous, feeling good, feeling like things are balanced out, a lot of beauty and magic all around you, joyfulness. Yeah, I would say, Ursula, focus on this for yourself. Focus on having a happy home, um, resting, uh, being grateful for all the good you have, picturing vibrant health for yourself picture yourself being healthy and youthful your ears healing um visualize that visualize that every day as you wake up your ears are healing some that you're feeling better your hearing's better start visualizing that like you're happy and you're pleased that there's improvements that's what i would recommend ursula let me grab you some um messages here Oh, look, Ursula, accept heaven's help. You've prayed for help, so get out of the way and let heaven help you. Oh, that's another thing. Whenever I've got some kind of ailment or something or aches and pains, when I go to bed at night, I'll ask God and my guardian angels to um, to send their healing light, their heavenly light throughout my body and being and help me to receive the healing light. Help me to accept it because, you know, we're in a culture where we're not supposed to believe anything unless we see it <laughs> you know like with our if we know with our logical mind and um so it, it's kind of like you got to uncondition yourself um from the way we've been conditioned all our lives that if you can't see it and feel it it's not real um to ask god and your guardian angels when you go to bed at night or even when you're resting just to see you're resting you're putting your feet up and relaxing so you can be healing at whatever time you're doing that um just Picture the heavens above and ask God and your guardian angels to fill your bo mind, body, and spirit with their healing light. And picture a lot of healing light um, filling your body and healing every cell in your body and lifting you up and making you feel a lot healthier. And uh, see if you don't feel a little better like the next day when you wake up or something. You've got Merlina. You are confused and indecisive because you do not have enough information. Do research or seek expert advice before making a decision. Yeah, read up more on the conditions you have. And like I said, say and seek expert advice. Check with your doctors about some particular vitamin supplements if you find some that look like they'll be particularly good that might help heal that part those issues that you're having so um be assertive yeah speak up speak up for yourself okay i hope that helps ursula thanks again for your for your donation all right let me see what i can do real quick Four. Yeah, don't make any more. Um, oh, those cards look like my bus will hopefully be here in the morning as well. I'll do the same in response, healing from this car accident. This guy ran a stop sign while I was going to work. Oh, my God. I hope you got their information so you can go after them or have your insurance company go after them. <laughs> All right, let me go back. I see Annie was asking. I'm just going to do maybe one or two quick, fast ones. And I've got to close it on out. Let's see. I know Annie's been talking here. Wait, I hear my phone. Hold on a second. Hello? Hello? Oh, yeah, hold on, hold on.
I'm back. Sorry, sorry, sorry for the interruption. That was my son. So I wanted to take that call from him. Okay, let me see now. I'm going to try to do a couple real quick. Then I got a closey out of here. So, um, um, Uh, chords, I don't know if you've got to put in a question here. Admiring seaplane, that sounds nice. Blessing from a from a sensitive soul. Thank you. Blessings to you, admiring seaplane, if you're still here. Sterling, what's Ken's true intentions towards me? Sterling, if you're still here, I'm just going to give you a real quick these are real fast ones because I got to close it out. Um, I got a little uneasy feeling when I look at what's Ken's true intentions towards me. Not uneasy in a way that's bad or anything like that. It's more reserved, pulled back. Um, like, what's Ken's true intentions towards me? Uh, I don't feel anything right now real strong from Ken, like wanting to really make a solid relationship with you right now. It feels a little more pulled back, kind of hesitant in a way. So um, I would say, you know, if Ken is not pursuing you and you're not getting the right kind of messages, don't be holding on. Don't be holding your breath waiting on Ken if Ken is not really pursuing you in a positive way that really feels smooth and feels good. Okay. And thank you if you did become a subscriber. Thank you, Sterling. And liked also. Thank you. All right. Let's see. The dark forces casting many people feeling we will prevail. Keep praying God's got this. Yeah, that's a good message. Chords. Because <laughs> I believe in um, good over evil any day. I don't know if you can see where, I'm, where I am in my initiative process I'm scrolling through I can't answer everybody it's taken me longer because of all the spammers that got on here and put all those long messages spamming the whole every the whole group wanting people to send them messages and giving them all their phony copy and paste messages. These long drawn, I've seen a lot of the exact wording before. It's, they copy and paste and just send it to whoever name they see. Elisa, Elisa, I'm just going to pull you a couple of cards real quick because I got to close it out. Okay, Elisa, if you're still here, contemplation time, spend time alone meditating about what you truly desire. Let me get you an animal spirit. Oh, Elisa, elephant, greatness. Love is your strength. Leadership is your path. Your wisdom inspires everyone you meet. You can overcome any problem. You will naturally and easily achieve success. I like that. Okay, I don't know if Elisa's still here. Chords. Oh, Jay, I just said hello. Thank you, Kevin. Let's see, watching here on YouTube. Okay. Oh, Annie, how can I get her where I send the money? Oh, I'm sorry. Annie, please, you can, um, tomorrow, I'm going to just try to pull a couple of, um, Annie, Annie was, you know, <laughs> um, sending several messages here. Annie, because I, I see now it says, how can I, where would I send the money for a reading? Um, PayPal. Yeah, because you're on, if you look at my PayPal link and look for me tomorrow, um, Annie, let me pick you a couple of Oracle cards, okay? Because I know you've been here for a while. Oh, here, Annie, music for manifesting. To manifest rapidly, think of your desire while you chant, hum, sing, or play music. Even listen to your, your favorite songs that you love that make you happy and manifesting and picturing what you want is real good to create magic. Because when you're happy, you create magic. You create miracles. Oh, miracle. Hummingbird. Miracles. You are the joy bringer. You bless the world with positivity and love. Energy soars on your shining wings. Spread the miracle of happiness. Oh, just as I was talking about that. 
Okay. And Annie, here's one more for you. Remember who you are. Archangel Michael, you are a powerful, loving, and creative child of God. You are very loved. That's a great message. Okay. Let's see. Um, I'm, I, I really need to close this out, everybody. It's, oops, I got to go. So let me go. And tomorrow... Tomorrow, check for me tomorrow. I'm going to check for my students. And there's a transfer to because there was never a confirmation. I'm just now seeing that about your scheduled trip for your students. There's a transfer because there was never a con Yeah, I think you better check into that, Ursula, that scheduled trip for your students. It feels like a kink in the works. I think you better check on it. Call whoever you need to call, whatever, especially if it's tomorrow. Find out if there's some nighttime number you can contact or something, Ursula. You need to kind of find out. I, I feel there's a kink in that transportation situation. Like maybe somebody didn't, you know, lack of communication somewhere in the, in the works there. Something like that. And I'm going to close the Audi. I'm just trying to scroll here real quick. Gee whiz, it takes so long because there's so many spammers. <laughs> Good for you, Ursula, I'm just seeing. Oh, you're welcome, Annie, thank you. You're welcome, Ursula, thank you too. Um, Eva, all I can do is pull you a card real quick because I got to go. Healing heart. You're a powerful healer. Keep up the great work. Here, let me pull you an animal spirit. It flew right out of there. Coyote, revealer of truth. Don't take things too seriously. Make time to play. Great wisdom comes from laughing at your own folly. Look out for the traps and tricks of life and learn from them. That's the truth. Um... Hell, still no answers. Will the medical test help decide if I need to be on disability? Oh, I don't know. It's hard for me to concentrate on that one, Cords. Look for me tomorrow again, okay? Just need guidance in my life. Love, work, something little. Annie, look for me again tomorrow. I do plan to be back tomorrow. Mm, yeah, you really got to take care of your health, Cords. I remember you mentioning that before. Oh, thank you. Good night, Annie. Eva, I don't know if I pulled a card. I'm going to just pull a card. I can't do a reading. I'll pull a card for you, though. Eva, alchemy. You have the Midas touch right now, and every project you begin turns to gold. Well, Eva, if I didn't already give you a card, that's a great card right there. Okay. Well, I, I want to include Facebook because people who are on Facebook... Or there's good people on Facebook, too. <laughs> I don't want to eliminate the good people because of the bad apples, you know. It's just like everything else in life. One, uh, one bad one, or in the case of Facebook, it's like a whole bunch of bad ones. But then there's a lot of good people and nice people on Facebook, too. Oh, you're welcome. God bless you, Cords. All right, everybody, I'm ending, okay? And look for me tomorrow. Thank, thank you all so much for, for participating. Thank you for your donations. And good, good night, good day, good morning, wherever you are. Uh, look for me tomorrow. Oh, you're welcome.